Hi, welcome back to Camper Van Culture. Now, we've got pretty small vans and a lot of people change the vehicles because they think that this uh, T25 uh, van is just too small for proper travel or traveling for long times. And really, most of the time, it is just down to sort of luggage management and how you use um, and store everything that you need for any trip. This range of stuff here is something we've been working with for quite a while. Um, and it's a perfect way and a perfect storage solution for all of your kit while you're away. The difference between having a really good trip away, um, uncomplicated, lots of room inside the vehicle, is by storing away all your stuff properly. Inside there usually isn't that much cabinet space, but there's a definite way around this, and this is what we've been working on for quite a while. This here is a range of stuff that we're supplying now. Uh, it's very, very high quality. Um, we just got sick of all the crap that everybody's had to put up with from years. Uh, budget, not very good for us. Uh, anything these days, everyone's just going budget this, budget that, budget parts. We're not interested. We want to supply high quality stuff that's going to last, that everyone's going to be happy with. With our new equipment, a lot of it is modular. So you don't have to use it all at once. You can just swap and change, add, take away for whatever sort of situation you're on. You can use it for good weekend trips away or longer extended periods in your van. First off, let me explain the storage boxes and how, how they all work. First of all, we've got the cub box. The cub box is the smallest box. There's catches on the top, four of them, which you slide across and then that locks the lid into place. They're all stackable. And once they're stacked into place, they're not going to move. So you can stack them inside a docker load bed or something like that, or in our Westy roof storage bag, which I'll introduce you to later on. So first of all, like I said, that's your cub box. The next step up is the wolf box, which is the bigger version. Again, these are very tough, stackable, and once they're together, they're not going to move. These have got clips on the side, which you can clip shut. And when you open up, there's absolutely stacks of room inside of though. So that's the wolf box. Next up is the, this is a soft box. Now this will fit inside of the wolf box, which is the bigger box as a liner, or it can be used on its own. It's very rigid, uh, zip lid, and there's a separator inside which you can remove. Um, the beauty of these as well um, is that when they're unzipped and you want to stack them away somewhere small, there's Velcro on the bottom, which you just undo. And then these will fold away flat underneath your seat. And if you're going to use the liners, the soft line, I mean, you can use them on their own, of course. You'd easily fit your clothes for um, an adult or a kid for like a, up to a week, I reckon, in one of these. Uh, absolutely no problem. When I went to Morocco for two months, I had a case a lot smaller than this, which I, um, I seem to manage with just for my stuff. And it was stored outside of the van, out of the way, so it wasn't uh, eating into our living space. Um, the soft box is there with the divider in, as shown earlier. Uh, if that's on the roof, you can just take that out and leave, leave um, the box on the roof. Um, and the cub box, again, which is a smaller one, um, there's little catches that slide, which locks it into place. And then we do liners for these two. They're insulated. This one hasn't got a lid. This one has got a zip lid. So you can use that for tools, small stuff, uh, delicate things, cameras, stuff like that if you want it, I guess. But ultimately, they're for sort of your belongings, your clothes, uh, all the stuff that is taking up room inside of your vehicle just so you can have a nice living space inside and not have to keep moving stuff off that side table or off your cooker top. Camping chairs also take up an absolute load of room in the van. Sure you can put them outside, lots of people do, nothing wrong with that, but with the British weather being what it is, or winter camping, anything outside of summer, if your chairs get wet, you're going to be miserable, you're not going to want to sit on them for ages. Um, you know, mountains, fishing, all that sort of stuff. The sun isn't always blazing to dry, dry things out. We sold the ARB chairs for ages. They're very, very good. 
They are a little bit big to store away, good for summer when you can put them outside and not really worry about them getting too wet. The covers are really good, but they are slightly on the big side. Worth it in my opinion in some, some cases, but sometimes just thinking, wouldn't it be good just to have a real small, high quality fold away camping chair? Especially, like I keep saying, if you want some nice living space inside, this can be stored outside in our bag, which I'm gonna show you in, in a short while. Um, but look at the size of it, it's, it's kind of this big on, on its side view, folds away very, very small. And you can also buy carry bags for them too. Again, real high quality, none of your sort of budget camping or budget parts, any, any of that business, we're not really interested in that. Uh, penny pinching just to, it's not good. No, not good for not good for us and not good for, for our customers really because we just want to bring you the best stuff. Um, let me show you how the camping chair works. Just up like that, like so, so that's your backrest. Put your foot low, open it up, and it folds out into a great chair. Again, these are real high quality. They're not they're not your petrol station chair. You've also got in the side, you know, a pocket for your drinks, stuff like that. A little lid on there as well, so you're not going to lose your keys or whatever else you put in there. Um, these are lovely, really are beautiful things. Um, again, we're going to use these ourselves. We're not stock anything that we're not happy to use ourselves on our shop. And just don't really stock things that the masses that can just get an account with some place and stock that just because you can you can make money on it basically, we're not interested. And of course, when you're done, if you wanted, you could put it all in its little bag. So all of this revolves around this bit of kit here. This is our storage bag. It's real high quality canvas, which is weatherproof, real thick on top, zips around the top, and there's a flap that fastens down with Velcro. This fits exactly inside the Westphalia front rooftop section. There's two parts there, so the straps can feed through the cleats, so you can secure it with two straps if you like. But mainly, or usually, the weight of it holds it down anyway. I'm yet to strap mine down and I've been running around for quite a while with mine on the roof. Like I said before, the beauty of this system is that it's modular. Each bag will hold either two large wolf boxes side by side, or I've set out three cub boxes. They're exactly the same size. So you can either have two boxes at the front, you can lift the pop top roof, zip out the front and access the roof well from inside the van if it's rainy, or you can open the door and just reach over. If you wanna get the boxes down a lot, then you can just do the three boxes and it's easier to remove a small box each time rather than a bigger box. Obviously on bigger trips, a nice big box would be great. That'd easily do his and her clothing or the kids clothing. Um, and then, you know, the choice is yours really. You can go for the liners and all that sort of stuff. If you're gonna carry our chairs, another perfect thing is that these fit exactly on top of the cub boxes. Again, if you wanted to use the bag for the chair, that's fine. And all that will zip up in one. So in your roof section, you'll have chairs for two people and all your clothes for two people. That means that every single cupboard inside of your van that you usually take up for clothes will be free to put other things. So big bulky items like bread, veggies, um, towels, all that kind of stuff that used to get in the way before, all can be stored away so you've actually got a living space that you can use. If you're like us, and every time you go away you use one of our Frontier stoves, you can simply just swap out one of the cup boxes for the Frontier stove. It's actually pretty much the same size, so fit very nicely inside the bag and then that'll just all be dry for when you want to use it again. Here's how it sits when it's all in position. And as I've previously said, getting to it couldn't be easier. All you need to do is zip out the front section of your roof. And the access is right there. Even if it's raining, you can just get to it pretty quick, unzip it, bring out whatever box you need, or just reach in and grab your stuff. Or, if you're a bit vertically challenged and you need a little lift up there, we also do this step that goes right onto your front table leg so you can hop up and that's very easy. Even the kids can do it. 
So all your bag and your boxes and all your sort of cargo management stuff is now on the roof of your van. I've just put three cup boxes in here just so you can see what it's like when it's offered up to the van. Um, so like I said, there's a quality flap that goes all the way around to keep the zip safe. Just lift that up. And zip round. And there's all your stuff right in front of you. You can lift the lids up, or if you wanted, you can just remove each box. Take it in the van when you've done. Simply put it back, fasten the lid on beforehand, and then zip yourself up again. If you're really worried about this getting stolen, as I'm sure, you know, not everyone's got complete faith in the human race, what I do is just fit a small chain and then that can be padlocked from cleat to cleat and nobody can lift that up when the roof's down and again we sell the straps that go between the two cleats at the end this is a really great system also using the bag on roof racks isn't a problem uh, if you didn't want to use it in the front section there you could also double up here giving absolutely heaps of storage space And just because we like all our products to time with each other, the cub boxes fit nicely on the Rocky Mountain Westy swing away tray carrier. Now getting on the roof has never been so easy with our new spur wheel ladder. If you're interested in any of the products featured in this video, they're all available on the campervancoach.com website. As long as you guys keep watching and buying our products, it'll keep us doing what we do. Thanks for the support, guys. Thank you very much. That's fine, just keep going straight as you are for the minute. You're just about to hit the rocks. 